what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back and welcome to haikyuu season 3 we're beginning that today it's only 10 episodes so i should be able to knock this out in a couple of days get season 3 done and then we can do the first part of season 4 and i'll be all caught up with haikyuu so let's jump into it we know what season 3 is going to be about if you don't know what season 3 is going to be about well, you're in for a surprise because my background gave it all away. <laughs> Anyways, we all know that the next school that um, Karasuno is about to play is um, Shira Toizawa. Um, I'm surprised that I actually say that right every time. <laughs> I'm really surprised at myself. See, ever since I learned about that school, uh, I keep remembering it for some reason. And we got the great Ushijima. Um, and he's also finding out that he's left-handed, which I know that's going to play. It, it's going to be a factor in any sports. When a, a player, an individual, an athlete is left-handed, left-footed, they're always an issue. There's always an issue because it's very unorthodox. It's, it's not common. So it's very hard to come up when you go up against it. It's always poses a problem. Um, because it's very awkward if you haven't had the practice, you know what I mean? Especially if that person is coming from your opposite side, you get what I'm saying? So, um, so we're going to dive in, of course, we're going to dive in, see what this season, how they're going to begin this season, going to do the first couple of episodes today. Um, and of course you already know the routine, two episodes every day until we are done. Okay. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys for the review. All right. So episodes one and two of season three of Haikyuu. I'm definitely, definitely into it, man. I like it. I like it, like it very much. And we now we got um these two powerhouse schools because right now i believe that karasuno is a powerhouse school their recognition their you know people still look down on them for some stupid reason um you know i don't look at karasuno as a cinderella story it's not a cinderella story to me i think they worked hard to get to where they to to where they at i think every they deserve as much as anybody to be in the to be in the finals in my opinion they they consistently play against good schools and beat them to get here so it's not a situation where you know what i'm saying it's not a situation where they were these super super underdogs at this point everybody should have been watching out for karasuno if they had did this the first time around before they got whooped by by um by Aoba Josai, um or Sejo, whichever one you want to say. Listen, if they if they had went all the way, then you could have called it a Cinderella story. But this is the second time around. They went three sets. One of the sets went into the thirties the first time around when they played Sejo. Okay, so this time around, it is not a Cinderella story. At that point. The narrative should have changed about Karasuno. You get what I'm saying? The narrative should have changed. But unfortunately, the way how people think, that's not how they think. So they're not going to look at it like that. So maybe in some ways you could say this is still a Cinderella story. I don't think it is a Cinderella story. So, you know what I mean? Um, they're, they, they, they're not doing this by flips, you know, um, by j just a whim, you know. Or just getting away. They thoroughly, they thoroughly beat Seijo, in my opinion. Um, and it, it, it was, in my opinion, meant it, there wasn't a breakdown on the other team or anything like that. They didn't, nobody got injured. It, it was a straight up, you know, they beat them. You know what I'm saying? They kept the concentrated and used the tools in their arsenal. Um, and right here, you see that this school is definitely better than Seijo um in so many ways you know what i'm saying and because they got basically the ultimate weapon which is ushijima so and you know on top of the fact that 
he has amazing volleyball skills. He's left-handed. You couldn't have picked a worse opponent. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't have picked, if I gave you the choice to pick the worst opponent to go up against, you couldn't have picked this team. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this match is going to play out. They're, as I said, they're down for a set right now. And you can't really do anything about it. I did not expect them to adjust to to all these different things that, that they're experiencing against this team in one set. I could, I knew they were probably going to get blow out, blown out in that first set because they, don't, they didn't know what they were up against. So now that they know what they're up against... Um, See, they're going to have to learn on the fly if they're going to win this match. I don't know if they're going to win this match. I wouldn't be surprised. I said at this point in the narrative, you know, at this point in the narrative, I was saying um, that I don't know if they're going to beat Shorito, Shorito Izawa. I don't know. But I could have definitely predicted that they were going to beat Aoba Josai to end season two. Um, I just didn't know how it was going to happen. But narrative-wise, it make, wouldn't make sense for them to... To, to let Karasuno lose against his team two times at the end of two seasons. It just wouldn't make any sense. It was like, okay, do we are we cheering for Karasuno or are we not? You know, what's the lesson you're trying to teach here? And that's the thing about in life, in real life, sure, you get what I'm saying? In real life, you can be going up against the same team for three, four years and losing to that team. And that's life. That's real life. But in a show where you're trying to portray a narrative, it just didn't, it just, it's not going to make sense for you to let one team get beaten by two times in a row. It just not, you get what I'm saying? In two different seasons, like you're going to lose viewers by doing stuff like that. You're going to lose interest because it's like, okay, should I be cheering for this team or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see them win. You're going to pull me back in the next season to let me down again. You get what I'm saying? Like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the expectancy, uh, this is not like some grand universe you're trying to build. It's freaking volleyball. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's just what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Maybe they'll lose um, to Shirato Izawa and then come back the next year to, to, to beat them and portray the same narrative. But then again, can you really do that again? And get away with it. You know what I'm saying? Are we going straight to nas to nationals or what a view? I have also heard that season four is the final season of Haikyuu, right? Because the because the manga ended or some shit. I I don't know. I don't know for sure. Um, I don't want to look up anything. This is just stuff that um, that are rumored or that you know people have commented in the comment section on the channel and stuff like that. Um, because, believe it or not, I do keep up with, like, anime news. Not necessarily the series, but anime news. You know, that's how I can know that, say, you know, shows like Bleach are coming back next year. I also heard about, um, you know, the spinoff for Bleach did a one-shot. Like, I found out about that. I don't know how long ago this happened, but I just found out about that just a couple of days ago. I was like, oh, shit, maybe I need to probably read that one shot to see where they're taking it um i heard that there's dragons and stuff in that spin-off i mean it's it, it's taite kai taite kubo right that's his name the dude is brilliant the dude is brilliant because bleach you know was in my top five it's not in my top five anymore but it was one of my favorite animes um alongside when i was watching the big three you know which is one piece bleach and naruto so it's definitely one of my favorites. So to find that out, I definitely probably going to have to check that out for sure, for sure. So <laughs> I don't know. I did a lot of oxymorons and, <laughs> you know, like contradicting myself on what I'm saying. But whatever. When it comes on to Haikyuu, I'm not sure what to think at this moment because they could have they could be doing this in season four. I don't know. They could be doing um you know, leading up to them coming up against Huchijima again in season four. I don't know what happened in the season four. I don't know if they get the nationals or whatever. This season is 10 episodes for just this match. So I'll see you guys definitely for the next upload. Of course, I'm looking forward to seeing more 
of course i'm i, I told you guys i'm looking forward to seeing Tsukishima because Tsukishima is reading the hell out of Ushijima right now he's reading him he's reading him you know what I'm saying he's reading him trying to get used to the timing and positioning um to see if he can block Ushijima I know that moment is going to be epic as hell so if it does happen you know what I'm saying if it does happen because you know at least they're not losing their confidence you know what I'm saying if they lose two sets in a row you know, their morale might go down. So I don't know. But in any case, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys for some more Haikyuu tomorrow. Peace.